So I've just used Vocaline Ultra to do some alignment within Logic Pro. Let's have a quick listen to the before and after. My heart is in motion. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. And with Vocaline Ultra? My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. Awesome. So I'm really happy with those results. And one good habit to get into when you're either archiving your sessions or moving on to the next stage of production is actually rendering these changes into the audio regions themselves. And the way that we do this in Logic is by using a bounce in place workflow. Now there's a couple things to take into consideration when you're using bounce in place. And they mostly have to do with how you want to archive or keep safety backups of your tracks. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. But Let's start off with the basics. I'm going to right click this audio region over here and I'm going to click bounce in place. Now here we have the bounce in place dialog window opens up. I'm going to leave the name as default. The destination is going to be a new track. In this case, let's mute the source track and I'm going to make sure that the include volume pan automation is deselected, normalizes off. And obviously in terms of bypass effect plugins, we need the audio to actually run through Vocaline. So that is going to be disabled as well. I'm going to go ahead and click okay. So now you can see that Logic has just run through that and we have a newly created audio waveform that perfectly matches our guide track. Now from here, it really depends on what you wanna do. But if you would like to leave the original untouched, one really easy way to do that is simply, I'm going to deactivate the Vocaline Ultra plugin on this track over here. I'm gonna click the H key, and then this gives me the option to basically just hide this track. So now this track is still there and it's hidden, and the Vocaline Ultra instance has just been deactivated. And we'll click H again, and now we're back to where we were. The other good thing that's happened is my panning and any fader levels have also been matched on this track. So now we just have a perfectly time-aligned version of this track. My heart is an ocean. So that's one workflow that we can take. Now, another workflow could be that, let's say you still want to keep a copy of the original audio in terms of not having any processing, but you also want to have the edited audio that Vocaline generated, and you want to have them in layers on the same track. Now, if that's the case, we have a slightly different approach that we can take. I'm going to right click. We're going to choose bounce in place. This time, instead of muting the source track, I'm just going to click leave. We'll leave everything else as is, and it will run that through. So now you can see our lead vox double right, and then we have our lead vox double right underscore bounce in place. We can see the timing change between the two of these. If you've done this approach, we can simply lasso select both of these regions, right click, and we can pack take folder. This option is available at the very bottom over here, pack take folder, or if you've used it recently, you'll find it up here. Now that I've done this, essentially what we have is one track and within the layers, we have the original unedited audio that we could swipe to comp or we have the newly created and perfectly aligned audio on the top layer. Let's collapse this take folder. I'm going to right click this track and we can just delete this track. Now, one quick thing to point out as well is we don't need the Vocaline Ultra on this anymore. So I'm just going to deactivate this plugin. Last but not least, we have our Vox Low Harm. I purposely done something a little bit different here, just to kind of hopefully drill home some points. Vocaline Ultra is the first in the chain and the bounce in place has to render through that plugin in order to get the timing or the timing and pitch changes to be actually rendered into the file. But the channel EQ and the compressor, I'd rather leave those as just kind of like a real time insert so with that in mind, I'm just going to deactivate both of these plugins before I do the bounce in place. I'm going to choose to leave this kind of untouched and we'll back that up. We have our newly created file. I'm going to just drag over both of these plugins that we had used. Keep in mind, any fader levels or panning has been matched. So in this case, I'm just going to deactivate Vocaline Ultra. We will click the H key and let's hide this track in case we need to go back to it at any given point of time. Now I can just bring in my channel EQ and my compressor and now we're good to go. I'm gonna deactivate the Vocaline Ultra on the main track, but I'll leave it actually in here in place in case I need to go back. But now we can listen to our final results. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. 
nothing at all. Keep in mind, this has all been rendered into the audio files so themselves. twisted and broken, lost in the storm. 